Nice. Can you not hear the 17 times that this is repeating? Can you not hear the 17 times that this is repeating? Can you not hear the 17 times that this is repeating? I don't know why it's doing that. I'm going to try that. Please hold while we have some technical issues. Please hold while we have some technical issues. Please hold while we have some technical issues. shit bag it's because I've just eaten and I shared it with him and he would quite like some more of that thank you very much yeah I fixed it it's because I yeah technical technical do you like how bright orange this cardigan is I am loving how bright orange this cardigan is I bought this today the other one is blue but this is like orange I love that right hi how are we all doing um so interestingly uh i appear to be missing a stream because <laughs> like yesterday i did an hour gonna, um no that's not the right button we'll mute that so yesterday i did an hour and then i took a break to go and get some lunch and things like that and then i came back and i did another hour and kaylee saw me do the art it is real it exists all right and then apparently that second stream is missing so i'm gonna um send a help thing to twitch and see what's going on there but right i need to show you what i've been up to firstly after a couple of tweaks a couple of issues and everything else i finally finished the first part of the box now obviously there's still a lot of work to do right but this this was a ball ache 
<laughs> it comes apart, top half comes off. Um, but yeah, so the actual art gallery has been made. So I'm happy. I'm really happy. There was a couple of issues and I had to do some sawing, which is why I'm a little bit late getting on. Figured Yill did need not like, did not need that ASMR in your life. Kaylee fed me bubble tea today and there's like a million sugars in it. Um, right. And then the other thing, and this is why I'm annoyed about the missing stream. Um, I started the first VOD from yesterday will show you me covering the first air dry clay layer. And then the missing VOD would show you me doing the second air dry clay layer. Now I'm going to hold it up for a second because I need to turn it to show you all the sides. So um, this is the um, soft air dry. So it's like spongy and stuff. And we did that first to cover the foam um, before we started getting the details on. And then I've just started adding now, like the various kind of bits of detritus. I've got a couple of skulls in here. I've got the brush. I've got some broken ruler pieces. Um, quite proud of this little bit. It's not quite fully dry yet, but it's a paint tube with the paint coming out over a dinosaur eraser, which obviously had to be included. Um, we've got melting crayon here. There's going to be more melting crayons. Are they really? <laughs> uh, pencil crayons up here, um, like Posca pen lids and pencil crayons here. Obviously the pencil crayons and paint tubes around here. Broken pair of scissors, pen lid, you know. So that's kind of where we're at at the minute. There is still a lot to go on here. A lot. Um, but it's starting to look how I want it to look. The supports work. And there will be extra support. I have a minor issue at the minute in that the art gallery base is 12 inches. And once this is finished, along with the resin river, it's 15 inches. Wow. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. It randomly just, like, started hailing. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's 15 inches. Um... So I need to fix that. I need to fix that. So that's kind of where we're at at the minute. We've done two artworks now. Um, today we went into Leicester to look at the unit. I have a floor plan of the unit. So uh, it will be drawing up a floor plan for you to look at with how it's going to be all put together. Um, probably not today but soon and then we bought we i i bought kaylee was with me she didn't pay for anything like that but, um the lollipops for the goodie bags two different colors um so we're going to put my stickers on there and they will go into the goodie bags for the first 25 visitors which is cool they'll probably be the first 24 because i want to keep one for myself um <laughs> not vegan yeah they're vegetarian they're not vegan that's the beautiful face uh finally something that is sour huh right I, i'm really sorry about this right kaylee bought some sweets today that apparently are two times more sour twice as sour um as toxic waste I don't know if you guys in America get that. And uh, she just sent me the most beautiful photo. And because she loves me, I'm now going to share it with the world. So, look at it. It's so beautiful. <laughs> yes, that is the best thing. That's actually the best thing. Um, and now my camera's out of focus, so that's what I get for that. So yeah, so we've got the sweets. Um, about to order the stickers so I can print stuff on stickers. Honestly, you should see my desk right now. It's just, it's just so much going on. There's so much going on. Um, we did some more of the uh, moulds with the um, Play-Doh. And I used... Um, not plaster of paris it's not plaster of paris that i used i used 
interior powder filler. Are you gonna just focus or what? Come on. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Honestly, sometimes this thing. I just, I maybe need to invest in a better camera soon. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so this is interior powder filler. It's specifically for like filling it in holes and stuff in walls. Um, so we're trying this at the moment and I've discovered a couple of things about it. Firstly, if it is not completely dry, it is really fragile. So I've had to throw a couple of bits away because it was just really fragile. But when it is dry, it... <laughs> <laughs> it takes <laughs> it takes the print really well so this is one of the uh, rib cages from the transformer um, and then you might be able to see this one a little bit better because it's still got some of the red play there I need to clean them up obviously I've only taken them out today so that's another rib cage from a different transformer that's quite cool um, I managed to get like a a leg bone obviously these all need cleaning up and you just just like you never want to focus where I want you to focus it's amazing um, and then I also um, actually did you know the spongy stuff that I've been using for like everything also been using it for texture and then I cast some of the plaster into it to get like this really cool kind of knobbly texture which I'm slowly building into the walls of the actual piece. So that's cool. We've got a lot going on. Um, we've got some more drawings to do, which is probably what we're going to do today. Um, I've got so much work to do, honestly. Um, have you guys seen this one? I just want to show you this one. It's one of my favourite frogs. I love it. It's just, you know... I do actually do art occasionally. It's just rare. <laughs> That's one of my indigo pieces. Yeah, I like it. It's beautiful. Don't, I don't know what this is. I don't know what's good. I think we were discussing like art, and this was me making some, you know, famous art. No. Um, right, so we're kind of like. I will move you in a minute. I just need to, we need to get the bit at the beginning out of the way for the university people. Um, right, so yeah, so we've seen the unit. It's quite large. Kaylee has suggested that I make my posters bigger. So that's going to be interesting. Um, and we kind of just... I've just got so much to do, like my to-do list on The Remarkable, I've got to make posters and I've got to make invitations and I've got to talk to Devi about food and still build everything, cut the paper out, which I probably should also do soon, um, just, just lots, there's a lot to do, but it's moving forward, um, I've got some other bits. I went through, like, basically I went through all my craft stuff. Because as we all know, I am a craft hoarder. I hoard random craft stuff in case it's ever going to be useful. And I'm glad that I do that, to be quite honest with you. Because in amongst all the in case it's ever going to be useful stuff, I have found some 2 to 1 epoxy resin. So I'm slightly discoloured so it was on sale, one to one epoxy resin. No, I've not sorted the stickers out. So my plan is I'm going to buy some stick paper, Google how to make the stick paper into stickers. <laughs> and then make enough to not only put on the lollipops but also to add extra ones into the bag. That's the plan. We'll see how well that works. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. So I found some resin, so that's cool. Oh, seriously, I don't even know. Um, I took a, I took a Posca paper. Right, but the problem with thermal printers is that after a while, like if it gets warmed, it's the same as receipts, isn't it? 
And don't they only print in black and white? I looked at a thermal printer once. Oh, that's inside of a Posca pen. Look at it. There's a little valve. This still has ink in it. Don't ever trust your sister when her husband says that it's dead. It's not dead. Um, yeah, so that's the problem. I obviously am going to be printing my logo and I want to do it in a kind of... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I need to look into thermal paper because I don't know how eco that is. And that's the problem. I mean, the lollipop's wrapped in plastic bad enough, right? I'm not happy about that. But that kind of needs must at the minute. Um, and they're not vegan because apparently getting vegan lollipops is really difficult. They've got beeswax on them. It's a nightmare, honestly. Um, so yeah, so I found out some stuff uh, from the um, pile of stuff. So I've got this like bag of green <laughs> polymer clay, clay scraps, I think it is. That'd be useful. And then I've got three colours of moss. Look at it. Yeah. However, right, I treated myself today and it's tailored. I treated myself quite a lot today. I don't do it very often. So obviously I've got the two new cardigans. We had bubble tea. That was not cheap. Um, uh, Primark had a sale. Primark had a sale and um, I went in there for like perfume and came out with like five new tops. Oh my god, yeah, Kaylee's bubble tea had like 10 sugars in it. I'd asked for 50% sugar because I always do and that was five sugars. I'm like next time I'm just going to ask for 30. Just 30% sugar. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. I might die. I might actually die. I'm not open these yet. So, have some ASMR. <laughs> So like right. in the vegan sweets section they had this is the cutest thing ever little paintbrushes mm. Oh really nice and oh, that's actually really good. Really juicy actually. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a dog behind me. <laughs> you don't want it. I know you don't want it. Should I put it here? You can change your mind. <laughs> So, my mouth was sweet now. I grabbed some scroll boxes. And for those of you who don't know, the scroll boxes are a monthly art box supply. Um, that I stopped getting a little while ago because I just get disappointed sometimes. Like, if it's not something you're interested in great for trying out new media but like when you get stuff that you're not like really that interested in um yeah but and they've stopped doing it now every now and then they used to put their previous boxes on sale and they did thing the other day because they're clearing out previous boxes and they've stopped doing it now where you buy one box you get two boxes free I smiled very sweetly at Lee because he loves me and asked if I could borrow the money <laughs> to buy some boxes. Now, I'm going to just grab them. A lovely system going on with how everything works around here. Basically, there are piles. <laughs> uh, shout out to the nerdy crafter cra craft kit. Uh, <laughs> it's going to come in really useful over the next few days. Okay. So, I have to stand up now. You can see how bright my amazing dungarees are. 
There is a reason for me telling you this, by the way. I'm not just randomly pointing out that I bought stuff. I mean, that too. I am probably randomly pointing out that I bought stuff. But there's a reason. And it kind of all ties in. I don't know if you've all noticed, but just recently all of my art has been made in pencil. I've spent years trying to figure out what the best kind of uh, media is for me to work with. And obviously, primarily, I will always be an installation artist. That is never going to change. Um, obviously, you've all seen my favourite piece at the minute. It is not toothpaste. <laughs> Quite a few people have gone, it's not poisonous toothpaste. <laughs> yeah, I might add colour on the paint. I don't know yet. And then, obviously, the biohazard one um, had the yellow in it to make it stand out more. But mostly, I've been working in pencil. Um, and I never really thought of myself as a, a pencil person until I started doing this. So when I did the whole... Well, no, actually, two, three, three. I've still got to do an artist's rest, poisonous lake, and anatomy of a marker. That's where we're at now. Um, so these art boxes, let me go back to my point for a moment. These art boxes, they always come with a print. Usually A5 prints. Occasionally you get one that's smaller. Um, and this one is all done in pencil. Right? On toned paper. It's important. No. fanboy moment there we go. Um, and the ones I chose I chose the ones that come with some of my favourite markers because I want to look into the eco-ness of these ones we will be swatching these on stream we'll do a swatch stream stream swatch, we'll be trying these out might even do that today, we'll see I don't know I, don't, I literally don't know what I'm doing um, and then I got some Chromacolor pencils because I've always wanted to try them and rather interestingly the colours and it's totally not on purpose um, tie in with the um, pit pens which is nice shush your face your opinion is not needed don't choke no bad the important bit though it's the pens and pencils that came with it. Um, here's one for you, especially for people like me. This is an uh, uh, sewing chalk, like a tailor's chalk, but it's been repackaged as an art chalk because apparently tailor's chalks are actually water soluble. <laughs> Who knew? And like, if you've got Taylor's chalk lying around and you need a white paint. Well, that was cool. I learned. That was the thing I did not know. And then it comes with like this uh, white gold faber pencil. Because highlights exist. Um, and then it came with some other bits. Which is the main reason why I bought the box. Okay, so... Sammy, are you not enjoying my explanations of art? Or are you just shocked by the joy that is Taylor's chalk? So what so I'm going to get a blue one as well, man. Just like go all out. Okay. So it came with Blender. Um, I'm amazing for using my fingers. So we'll see if I can change the habit of a lifetime. <laughs> and these pencils are brilliant. So... <clears throat> We start off nice and easy with, I think this one's a, this was a 2B, yeah, the Lyra 2B, and I pretty much live for a 2B pencil, I use them on everything, right, love my 2B, and then we go to a 6B, I'll, sh I'll show you that, I actually can't show you the swatches because they're in a different book, anyway, so yeah, 6B. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the B is the softer, darker lead. And the H is a much, much harder lead. Okay. Um, 
And then it goes, a bit of a jump here, to a 14B. I've never had a 14B pencil before. It's like basically black graphite. It's amazing. All right. The Wells. Look, look. Oh, the Taylor's truck. Yeah. All right. Brush pens. I love brush pens. Brush pens are great. Okay. And when I opened this brush pen, I was expecting... Oh, there's my... I've just found my swatches. Um, the brush pen is so fine. Look at it. What's your problem? What are you doing? You can't go in there. What do you want, baby? Come here. Come on up. Come on first. Come on up then. There we go. Yeah, so like super fine brush. There's no more food. I don't know why you're up here. And then these things. And this is the bit I'm actually excited about. There's no food. There's literally no food. Spare what? You have to remember there's a f like a few minutes delay between my words and your typing. I don't know what you're talking about. I have the memory of a fish. Um, this little kind of package here. Uh, this little package here is graphite and charcoal. The broken one's the charcoal because apparently I cannot do things gently. Uh, and the unbroken ones are graphite. And they're, they're just like soft, medium, hard. I love the brush pen. I need 900 of those. And then like light, medium and dark. That's, that's, that's all the information you get on those. So hopefully I can do some more pencil work. I love, I love that brush pen. It is so fine. So fine. Oh, my stomach's not happy because I ate food. I've got a dog who's being all like, me, 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 me. I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know. You're right, Bubba. You're you puppy. Oh. Oh, did you go outside when it's raining? Goth frog dog. Here to make sure that we make no art whatsoever. Hmm. No. Uh, yeah, so more pencil stuff is incoming, is basically what I'm doing. So I think that the rest of the work <coughs> might end up being in pencil. But I'm not entirely sure, because obviously if you go to an art gallery, you see a lot of different types of art. Camera, what are you doing? Um... So I don't know whether to go down the lots of different art or everything in the same medium. Have you seen how pathetic this is? You okay? And he was on his own for about a million years today. A million years. Like literally every Wednesday for the past however many... Because even when we were in Wolverhampton, Wednesday was college day. So... He's always on his own on a Wednesday. It's the only day he's on his own. And he gets like this. Yep. Yes. He just he, he just runs the channel now. I'm gonna change the name. This is now the Gothrog Dog channel and it's just gonna be Jake doing this. And they probably get more views than I do. <laughs> Wouldn't you, huh? No, I don't want kisses. you get more views than me, wouldn't you? Look at him. He's so adorable. Lee Stupid. I want to drink my tea, though. Can I drink my tea? Look at it. Okay. So, oh, here's the thing, because I know you all like to find out what's going on in the background of Twitch streams, right? And I do like to keep you all up to date and, you know, transparency. We're all about the transparency, traceability and all that. Um, I found out that I make more money 
from bits than I do from subscriptions. And also, and you all are not going to love me for this, when I do my longer streams, like my three hour streams and stuff like that, yeah, I know you only come for Jake. Um, I'm thinking of starting to run ads. Now, bear with me. I know how annoying that is. And I don't know if as a subscriber you still have to sit through the ads or not. Um, they would be every hour. And it would basically mean that I get paid. Um, because obviously adverts generate income. Because with the subscriptions... Um, with the Prime subscriptions, I get half, I think it's about half of what it would normally be. So it's about £2 or something. And then with a paid subscription, yeah, I will do. Um, yeah, so with the paid subscriptions, I get about 20p more than a Prime subscription, all right? Um, and Twitch gets the rest, obviously. And it's the same with the ads. Um, if I... If I do just the ads at the beginning for people who are not subscribers, subscribers, I get 30% of that ad revenue, which last month came to a grand total of 7p. 7 cents, 7 pennies, 7. <laughs> okay. If I run ads during the stream, well then um, I get 80% of the ad revenue and that's obviously what they're doing to kind of get people to run adverts in the stream. No bed. Leave your face alone. My dog is allergic to his own face. Hence this. If he doesn't stop in a minute, I'm going to throw something at him. I have this roll of tissue paper. Oi! And now he's cleaning his paws from where he's been scratching his own face because he's allergic to his face. What are you doing? Can you just settle down? Get up here and settle down. Oh my god. Seriously, it's like having a child, only slightly more annoying, which I didn't even know was possible. Oh, that's such a headache as well. He's under my chair right now, trying to see if there's any food under there, because he's never fed. The fact that there is literally a bowl full of food in the kitchen, but because it's not his normal food, because they didn't have any... He won't eat it. Why? Why? Why do I have to? Why? Um, why are you all messaging me? Stop it. Yeah, I miss Rich. I do message him occasionally to make sure, you know, he's not dead or anything. You do have children. They are small and furry and say meow. Mm, tell me you don't have children. Literally everybody, everybody in this stream has children. It's just that they all have four legs. <laughs> Apart from Kaylee, hers have two legs each. <laughs> right. What did you, you missed, you missed the dog being an idiot and being allergic to his own face. Again. What was I doing? I was going to add his dog food to my list of things I need to buy tonight kind of now amazon to the rescue as always 18.99 is that the full thing how many tins is that 12 what's 18.99 divided by 12 <laughs> there's a calculator on my phone and now i'm out of focus again 18.99 divided by 12 one pound fifty, so it's a little bit more than I usually pay. But then I'd have a whole box of them, and they'd be here tomorrow. How many days is that? Probably twelve. So they could have that 
every three weeks. No, eighteen ninety nine divided by twelve is not six ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll just grab that then. <laughs> nice, Sam. Nice. Um... Uh, yeah, reducing. Packaging, manufacturers. As if I have to pay for that separately than my other order that also needs to put through. Bear with me whilst we shop on Amazon and my camera tries to decide what it is doing with its life. Wait, can we discuss the fact that I've spent about £100 today? Um, oops. oops. Technically, I'm spending my student loan, but taking it out of my normal money, and I'll be putting it back from my student loan. So it's okay. <laughs> yeah, too much diamond art. Far too much diamond art. Do I want it delivering to my house? Yes. Yes, I do. Thank you. Do I want it tomorrow? Yes, because I've got no dog food. Ugh. I hate doing app approvals. Ah, what are we doing on the street today? Shopping. I should do like box openings or something that's very popular oh talking about box openings right i have to concentrate not to say my number out loud for my phone app like <laughs> scissor lady what oh you licky scissor lady yes i i saw the licky scissor lady i did what are the next three you doing though? Because didn't you say there was three more? I'm also buying plasters. <laughs> plasters, sticker paper and vegan marshmallows because I want a hot chocolate. Which also means I want some vegan squirty cream. Can I have some vegan squirty cream? <gasps> no, no, I cannot. Not at that price. Holy crap. It's not that expensive from Asda. Oh, Morrison's has got it in for £2.15, but then I'd have to have a Morrison's delivery. Well, that's annoying. This is great, right? This is why you're all here. To, to see my day-to-day -day. oh man we're in a unit today and they've got like a mental health thing set up amazing people lovely people doing a fantastic job trying to bring creativity to um the community and mental health and getting people to realize different comorbidities and stuff like that. really really fantastic people there's a minor moment where literally only one or two things on this entire wall were things I don't have. <laughs> it's just like, oh yeah, borderline personality disorder, got that. Anxiety, got that. Depression, got that. CPTSD, got that. <laughs> like, oh, I got everything. Uh. Alright, so to buy squirty cream from the shop is £2.15. To buy squirty cream from amazon you can only buy it in multiples and it's like 16 pound do you know what i don't need squirty cream on my hot chocolate that badly and i definitely don't need six cans of it what would i do with six cans <gasps> rich you exist oh my god 
How are you? Tell us all about your life. What is going on? Are you streaming again soon? We have missed you. I was shopping. And now you're here. <laughs> Rich. Tell us all the things, Rich. Quick, use your voice. You can't use your voice. This is a Twitch stream. Ah! All right. Just for the moment, right? Amazon just asked me if I want to gift wrap my eco-friendly plasters. <laughs> Do I want to gift wrap my eco-friendly plasters, ladies and gentlemen? Do I? Do I want to do that? Do I? I'm almost tempted. I'm almost tempted to gift wrap the plasters just because it's an option. So close. Like, oh, gifts. Like, could you imagine opening a gift? You're, like, you're opening a gift. You're like dead excited. You're like, yes, somebody sent me a gift. And you open your gift. And inside your gift... <laughs> Is a packet of plasters. Oh dear. Hilarious. Right, that's the sticker paper ordered anyway. Just, just, just beautiful. <laughs> that's the weirdest thing. Uh, right, so I was going to show you some different types of clay, actually. Um, and she does not need any idea she has all the ideas she just sends me stuff then denies it was her and I believe that it's not her and then it turns out it's her because Sammy is not it um, right foamy air dry clay stuff that's what we're going to talk about foamy air dry clay stuff so obviously you all saw the, the big bucket that I bought for like £4 that has worked out really well but let's say for a minute that you don't want a large bucket because to be honest it's probably not going to stay fresh for very long and i'm probably going to need to use that on something else quite quickly which is where the other thing comes in that i'm going to show you in a minute um so the other options you've got and this is for uk people i'm sorry i'm going to carry on Despite the fact that Rich is, you know. <laughs> um, so for UK folks, uh, Hobbycraft. Super light. Uh, obviously, this is neon green and I've not opened it yet because I don't know what we use neon green for. And I literally only bought it because it was neon green and I've had it a while. This cost me a pound. Uh, a dollar. It's actually a pound is about one ten at the minute one dollar ten cents but yeah so hobbycraft have these in there's like a little plastic tray in there and then i mean like it is like full okay um for those of you who are in america or have amazon and don't want to go to your local hobbycraft because people are horrible um this stuff silk clay it's a little bit more expensive i think this is usually about to 250 a tub but there is slightly more in it i mean what's the weight on that one it does not tell me why why would you do something useful and tell me how much is in there no no don't tell me but that one's a 40 gram tub made by spiders um it's basically they are a type of paper clay um it's like you know that foamy eva style light it, they're really not good for the environment don't throw them away that's that's important <laughs> okay um but they make like really soft light things um like say I, i'll just show you the model again the base again oh, i should have made like it bounces i did make a little ball i don't know where i put that um so basically this bit here 
is covering one of the bits of foam that we used underneath and if you watch so it's like a it's quite soft and spongy spongy that's the word I'm looking for it's spongy okay and I use it as a gap filler a lot of the time um, really good for making like if you want to do flowers roses and stuff um, this stuff's brilliant for that because you can get really thin and it's really light um, not so good if you want to do really detailed work um, it doesn't hold its shape and although it does stick to itself it doesn't like to stick to anything else this was hard work <laughs> it does not smooth out with water um, and water does not help it become sticky but it's yeah it's fairly solid and it's basically EVA foam and I use it underneath my DAS air dry clay um, DAS air dry clay again not great for the environment <laughs> I ran out of time okay um, DAS air dry clay is a clay that has been mixed with uh, nylon to help out have I heard of cosplay? Have I heard of cosplay, Rich? Hmm. Let me see. I'm just wrapping my, uh, one of my favourite YouTubers here. Yeah, the problem I have with cosplay, it's the, it's the exact same problem that I have with Sculpey and other such clays, is that they are oven curable. And although they say it's fine to do that in a normal oven, um, I am not happy with doing that in a normal oven. So when I have a little bit more space after this project and everything I'm going to look into getting a tabletop oven they're like 30 quid they're little things and that will be purely for working with polymer clays the problem again is that polymer clay is not good for the environment with clues in the name polymer clay it's a type of plastic um, my general thought on it is it's not going into landfill so i have less of an issue with it um one of the things i wanted to show obviously i've been working with the skulls i'm not showing you all the skulls yet because they're tiny but i've been working with like um house paint just like an emulsion based just uh i like to call it bone white um the shop I bought it from likes to call it crushed almond I think it's actually in the other room at the minute it is but like if you look at the bottom of this I'm going to do it that way you can actually see I love you but I'm in the middle of a stream I, I am still streaming, yes, we are live right now, which is why we're not on loudspeaker. Love you, bye. Husband. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you look in the bottom of this, you can actually see the paint particulates. Now, the most interesting thing about that is I only use this to rinse my brush. That's all I did, I used it to rinse the brush with that all came off from just rinsing the brush and you think about like it's one of those things like that would go down the sink and I am going to try and like keep the pot not the water because still like four weeks until the exhibition but the actual pot itself and then I might put some water back in on top of it um, for the exhibition just to kind of show what you're putting down your sink and even if you ignore the horrendous environmental damage it's not good for your pipes is it really and it's the same with acrylic 
they are just plastic based. So yeah, so polymer clays and stuff like that. So if it's not going into landfill, polymer clays, these clays that I'm working with at the moment, I have less of an issue with it. Less. I still have an issue. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's... There's not much at the bottom. I was rinsing my fingers out um, in this one yesterday, rinsing the clay off, but there's not really a whole lot at the bottom of that. Let me see. Um, I have a bag of sand in the back garden. Yeah, I have a bag of sand in the back garden. Um got ghosts my box is moving hey rich did you see the box did you miss the box the box is beautiful i should stop calling it a box now because it's technically starting to be a miniature art gallery hey, thumbnail <laughs> <clears throat> left the box worked hard on the box still got a lot of work to do yeah I, the pouring the water out is fine the problem with that paint and this is the difference between that and acrylic actually because if that was acrylic paint it settles but it remixes if you move it that emulsion paint has settled and just it's caused a skin on the bottom of the pot it's really odd um so kaylee's added more work to this project as well because apparently i cannot talk to people without them adding more work to my project for me i don't need to do work everybody else is just like have you done this no but thank you for that yeah, you know, I just, I don't need, I don't need it. So, however, Kaylee comes up with clever, intelligent ideas that are not horrendous. Um, and so I will be adding more stuff to... I am making all the things, mate. It's ridiculous how much work I'm doing at the minute. Um, I don't have enough time. It's quite an issue. <laughs> So, I'm going to have a display case. It's over there, and to be honest, I cannot be bothered to get it down. I can't, right? I'm going to make a display case. And in the display case, I'm going to have things you can use to make paint. Because, you know, if you're going to educate the public, give them some options. I always give them some options. Um, so, I'm going to show them things they can make paint out of. So, I've got, you know, my usual collection, house brick. And I have some paint that I've made out of house bricks. <laughs> got it. Um, I've got a stone around here somewhere. Um, this was made with a stone that I picked up um, in a parking lot, actually. There's like a yellow ochre type thing going on there. I'm going to try and get that made into paint before we start. It might end up with me doing it well in there. Uh, my favourite one. Dino poop! <laughs> Coprolite um, is a good one for making paint with. Um, it makes a good poo brown. Poo brown. Uh, and this is my random collection of stuff that all needs crushing. So I've got like fossils in there, shiny stones in there. Um, I do have some pyrite, but I have been told that pyrite isn't great once it's crushed. It loses all its shiny shiny, apparently. Not so great. Um, I have some teeny tiny bottles. And in one of my teeny tiny bottles, I have some dandelions. Tiny bottles with dandelions in. Um, so I'm going to do a, like, here's stuff you can make paint out of. A little cabinet display thing. And then I'm going to supply some A4 sheets of paper with instructions on how to make two different types of paint. Um, the type with gum arabic which means it'll you know mostly stick around and the type that you don't have to go and buy gum arabic for and it's not going to be artist quality but you can still paint with it which is the kind you can make at home. Oh Rich you haven't seen my stamps either. <gasps> Mate you've missed so much so much um I decided to make my own business cards. Uh, the seed paper is coming, but I am. Um, love how they show up the right way around. Yeah, so I made made myself some little little lino stamps. 
I love little lino stamps. I know, right? Um, obviously, we got rid of the tree in the background. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stamp those on. And Kaylee very kindly brought me a stamp, um, which I got wrong. So waiting for a replacement pad for that at the moment because I put the wrong details on it when it was ordered. Um, but yeah, so Kaylee paid for me to have a stamp made with the website address and everything on it. And then I've just got stuff everywhere, to be honest. It's just like... They got two different ones, so they were got the solid black ones, which we love, and then the other ones, which are actually my favourite, is those ones. Time. I'm gonna be stamping those onto some seed paper card, and then stamping on the back with my email address and website information um, and yeah so that will be my business cards basically eco-friendly and if people don't want to keep my business card because you know people exist and they are peopley and they just randomly throw it away it'll grow it, you get one you've got you're gonna get a private invitation my love um, and then we've got the prototype for the exhibition posters and the name of it, um, which is roughly the theme for the invitations as well. It's my colour scheme now, the greens and the pinks. Um, so that's kind of what I've been working on. I've been doing so much digital work, you'd be so proud of me. I have a website landing page that I did all by my little self. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's been a lot going on. And it's bizarre because imposter syndrome means that I spend a lot of time sitting here going, I've done nothing. I've got nothing to show for it. And then I'm like, I've got my pieces of art that I've made and the the gallery and like the base that's being made and like the lino print and the amount of time I spent in the workshop at college and now the amount of time I've spent at this desk doing work. And then like all of the digital stuff, the fact that I now have Adobe and I pay for that every month um, so that I can do illustrator work for the website and things like that. It's just insane. It's insane. Um, it's amazing to me how different things are now from two years ago as well. Like two years ago, you would not have caught me doing this. I've just asked for a new graphics tablet for my birthday. Um, I want one with a display because I love my graphics tablet and I've been doing a lot of work with it but because it's not got a display it goes down here and I'm looking up here which is a bit of a disconnect um, so I've asked for the Huey on Canvas Pro 13 for my birthday this year um, so that I actually have a display to work on uh, and then I shall be getting a license for Paint Tool Sci, which is my favourite program for drawing with. Um, and I, I prefer it over everything else. I've tried so many other ones now. Um, so that I could... I'm not going to be a digital artist. This is still not a thing. I'm not going to be a digital artist. But I now see the usefulness of having a digital knowledge behind you. So whilst I'm not going to start doing digital art and I'm not going to touch up my art, being able to do lettering, for example, which I am terrible at freehand, um, being able to add that lettering into my work would be really useful, especially since me and Kaylee are working on some posters and some self-care cards. Um, or oh, the self-care key ring, I'll tell you about it in a minute. You have to remind me. Um, so kind of we've got we've got that going on at the moment and it, it just having that slightly more digital aspect and being able to upload my photos onto the web page and things like that is a little bit more helpful i still struggle uh anybody who sees the vod from yesterday the one that's not missing the one that's still there will notice that there is a copyright warning on it <laughs> i got my first copyright strike 
because I muted the microphone, not realising <laughs> that the music could still be heard because you have to mute the stream. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know that's what that button was for. <laughs> it just like, came up with this. There are multiple copyright strikes on this. I'm like, oh my God. So they've muted it and I was like, well, that's fine. It was meant to be a silent stream anyway. It was just a process video. But yeah, we learn. We learn every day. And obviously we've got this new setup now. So we're at the desk. Um, I can move the camera around and put you down there. I still need to get a tripod. That's the next thing. Um, so it's easier to because at the minute it's still a case of finding something I can balance you on whether that's like my marker tray or like a, a pencil a tin or something like that um, I mean at the minute you're not balanced anywhere near it all because uh, yeah yeah that's that's a thing that oh look, there's a display case look yay look there's my display case we're gonna have some stuff in it and there's the base and there's like that's the paper that needs cutting out to go inside this is all of the broken pens that Kay gave me and the stuff that doesn't get put on there is going to be permanently attached in here um, to make like a sculpture so I can miniaturize it as an artwork um, obviously I've just taken a load of stuff off there so if I move that there's like the clay and the play-doh and stuff over there um, more broken art supplies over there. This is like some leather samples I got for free that I have an idea for, for once this exhibition's done. And like my little kind of holdy case. The glasses I always forget to wear when I'm on the computer are literally just there. Sandpaper. We've got some like two-part epoxy going on down here. More broken stuff. Uh, bits of wood ready for putting frames around stuff. And then on the actual computer we've got the two-part filler that's drying um, my fan fanboy moment that's my favorite game at the minute uh, and that thing which I'll tell you about in a second so <laughs> a lot going on man a lot going on so there was two things I wanted to tell you about and I've forgotten what one of them was already so that's cool uh, the first thing is this I bought this today it was reduced it cost £2.50 I bought it for all of the obvious it's a tree reasons. Look at it. Look at that. It's like actually it's got a little branch on it. Like I saw this and went this is perfect for dioramas. This is like a doll can sit on here. Um, I've done a doll on a tree stump before. Um, apparently it's wet more forest. I didn't know what this was. I bought it because it was a tree stump. It's even got like rings on the bottom. This is awesome. <laughs> I was just like we'll see what's inside it shall we. That was a mistake. I should have left it closed forever because inside it was the most adorable little monster whose name is Tumblebee apparently. Apparently this is a Funko plush. There's also Funko Pops. I'm not about to go and buy those because oh my goodness they're bad. But like I get tree trunks with adorable plushies inside them. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, but mostly I'm going to be making dioramas, which I'm dead excited about. Like, we've got, I think it's five weeks now until my last, like, my presentation and everything. And then I'm done. And then I get to actually do stuff for me. It is a bee, yeah, it's Tumblebee. He's a bee monster. He's a monster bee. So he's not an actual bee. He doesn't have, like, wings. But he does have the little like bee antenna. I watched a little video of him, it was dead cute. I like, yeah, his name is Tumblebee. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> there are others. <laughs> There's a bat. We all know I need the bat, right? <laughs> Rich also needs the bat. Um, yeah, so I've got some diorama ideas that I want to work on. The leather as well, I kind of have an idea to make like little scale like scale male type stuff for a doll i've wanted to do a warrior princess for a while um so i'm thinking of getting one of like the rainbow high dolls um you do you need the bat you need all the bats bat bats and ducks yeah oh. 
But yeah, so I'm thinking about getting one of the Rainbow High Dolls and doing like a warrior princess type thing. Your butt smells. Thank you for that. I actually heard that. That was just, that was just no. Just no. Um, so yeah, that's, it's been so much going on so much going on i've been streaming and i've been i've got recordings that i need to upload to youtube the missing hour there's a missing hour of stream it's just not there i did two streams yesterday there's only one showing up as a vod which is annoying because the second one was how to do the texture on the air dry clay so i'm gonna have to make sure i cover that again probably tomorrow um, the daytime process videos, I am making sure that I label them if they're going to be a silent stream. Uh, a, because of copyright, and B, because I need to share the process. What I don't want to do is have to do this, sit and talk about it, because I need to get on with it. I need to not be distracted by this. So what I've been doing <laughs> three times, but apparently... One is missing and the other ones are recording, like a pre-recorded one. So what I've been doing is I've been putting my music on and muting the stream so that you guys get the process. You can have me in the background, like I'm not making any noise, so it's fine. And it doesn't matter if you're not here watching because I'm not interacting. <laughs> um, so that I can get the work done just so I can get the work done if if when I'm doing the pencil work again um I need to do some sketches first I've been working on the um anatomy of a marker which I need to do a little bit of research on Kaylee found a video for me which I'm going to watch in a bit um a lit alas mirror boiler fantastic annoying to listen to but brilliant art um she took a Copic marker apart four years ago and it's similar to this Posca pen. Um, I'm trying, I need to get the valve out the end of this so that I can have a look to see if there's anything else inside or if it is literally now just that barrel. But yeah, definitely not refillable, definitely a one use thing. Um, I'm probably going to use the paint in there on that piece if I need to. Yeah, you still did work though. Um, I've got a presentation to do. I've got a 45 minute presentation to do. I think I've roughly worked that out. Um, like <laughs> My browser history at the minute, you know like writers say their browser history is really bad. Right? My browser history at the minute, skull and crossbones from doing the poisonous paint one. And then biohazard symbols for the turpentine plus turpentine. Now there is dead man in a coffin. <laughs> Poisonous lakes. <laughs> and because I've started to do my research, because I want to actually do national novel writing this November, um, which I love doing, I've not done it for a couple of years because of uni. Um, I've been looking at how to dispose of bodies. I'm on a watch list somewhere. <laughs> I love it. And my like, my, my phone is just full of pictures of like dead guys in coffins and like biohazard symbols and like dead animals and landfill and places to dispose of bodies. <laughs> like biohazards what substances are bad for people i'm just like oh my god so they're just gonna think i'm trying to kill somebody and, you know without doing it the normal way <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> and all of this is going on whilst i'm trying to avoid rabbit holes and kaylee's dissertation is a rabbit hole like I could easily go down that rabbit hole and be lost for a very long time because it's single use plastics in the gardening center area and holy crap, it's bad. It's so bad. Yeah. And even when they're trying, it's still bad. Uh, that's just like, I'm like, I can't, 
I can't. I can't. I can't. No, right. I just got my pots mixed up. That's all I knew what it was about. I just got my pots mixed up. <laughs> There's just so much. There's so much to this. Yeah. I'm not I'm not worried yet. I mean I'm stressed because there's a lot to stress about. Um I've still got to sort the food out for the opening night. Um I need to post invitations soon. I need to get posters up soon. That's like the first thing I need to do when I get back into college next week is posters. I need to stop the build for a week in college and do posters. Oh yes, right. So this was Kaylee's idea. Alright. Okay, I'll tell you about this. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, so you'll know I, I did I started working on my range of <clears throat> self-care posters. So we had fuck no, don't be a dick, just no, fuck off, um, and a couple of others, okay? And there's like a whole literally we have a massive list of these <clears throat> self-care posters and Kaylee came up with the idea today where we make miniature versions of them you know, just shrink them down laminate them put them on card or whatever and put them on a key ring like a cue card type key ring so that when you're feeling non-verbal or just don't want to deal with people and somebody says something that you may be like not interested in or don't want to talk to or anything, you just flip out the one <laughs> that you want to show. So, you know, you can have sweary version and unsweary version. So you could have one that just is just no or I'm not in the mood, you know, uh, fuck off, I <laughs> don't be a dick. Like just these like little key rings. And the, I'm thinking size wise, they're probably going to be just show you with this beautiful piece I have just here about this big all right and you just have these on it like they'll have a hole in them and like a little ring and they'll be on a key ring and you can just be like what up and pull out the one that you need like this is amazing this is the best thing like she's like Kay said that like you know they could be the cheap product and stuff like that and it's just like, I just love the idea of just like giving it a don't be a dick. <laughs> I just love it. I love it. I love the idea. It's fantastic. Um, it's just, yeah, it is. It's genius. Actually genius. So like my art and Kaylee's brain. This is why I want to employ her as my manager because she has a brain. And it means I could just sit and do art because I just want to sit and do art doesn't even have to sit and do art he just has people make the art for him people come up with the ideas for him I just want to sit and make art you know um, that was one of the leather pieces by the way <laughs> I got like a massive box of those um, but yeah it, it's just I think it's a brilliant idea I think I love the idea of having this full list of like sayings that you can just kind of flip up and show to somebody. Sorry, I'm just grabbing some fabric because I need to make a dress for my bear, for my frog bear. And that actually is quite a good fabric to use. Um, so yeah, I just love this idea. It's just, it's just such a good idea. She's great at this kind of stuff. She's just like, she comes up with these ideas and they're amazing. And I just make the art. It's just like, <laughs> It's like, I'm just sat in the background going, yeah, I just make the art. Yeah, and they're like every person ever for every film ever. Like, people watch these films and they can't name a single art person involved in it. And there's just an artist in the background going, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like, just give me one of those things. Like, but yeah, so that's, that's, that's something we're going to be working on. The self-care key ring uh, is one of the sum projects. Obviously, it means me having to make some more posters first. And this is where the digital stuff comes in. Because now I can do the lettering, print it on watercolour paper, and then do the art around it. 
why have I not been doing this already? <laughs> the only problem with that is obviously at the minute I still have an A4 printer and I tend to work A3. I, uh, it's taken a while to figure out where I'm most comfortable. Like I love my little A5 sketchbooks. They're brilliant. They're great for carrying around. I love my Remarkable. It's A5. It's brilliant for carrying around. But when it comes to doing actual art, A3 is where I can get my detail in. It's not so big that it's daunting and it's not so small that I can't get the details in. So I need to get an A3 printer. Or the other option is to print out on A4 with the lettering and then glue that onto the A3 paper, do the painting around it, and then scan it, because everything's got to be scanned now so everybody can buy my work. Also, there will be postcards available at the exhibition, and if you wish to purchase one of those, it will be the price of the postcard plus postage, which is like whatever a stamp and an envelope these days costs. I am having postcards made of my art. <laughs> This is just like, I'll show you the, I'll show you the proof. All right, I'll have to show you it on my phone. I need to, uh, what? Price of the postcard plus the postage. We, I haven't decided what the price of the postcard is yet, but it's the price of the postcard plus postage. No. It's the we haven't decided on the price of the postcard yet, Kaylee. But wherever we decide the price is, it's that price plus postage. Not the price I'm paying. <laughs> the price we're selling them for plus postage. Um, let me show you the proof anyway ignore her just because she knows what she's talking about ignore her um <laughs> that's how that works right nope not that one oh, so much stuff going on right now uh, i don't even know if it went to this email address or the other one it might be the other one A quote from ten. Yeah, see, I've got all like my quotes for. Oh, I have to have public liability insurance. I've got my press release that I had to do, and then I've got like just everything. Just everything is just everything is everywhere. And then there's the remembering the other stuff I need to deal with. And it's just like, just, it's just insane. And then I, that's outside the personal stuff, you know. Um, so we, ah, there it is. I get it. I get it. Okay. Alright. Okay. So I'll show you this, this proof that I've got. Um, if I can, let me put my phone on rotate uh, and we'll see what I can do. No, it's not going to work. Okay, okay so, um, so basically this was made up as a, originally a greeting card. I decided I was going to try and have greeting cards done, but I think that postcards are a better idea because you're more likely to buy this as a postcard, like an art print type thing, rather than a greeting card. Um, let's see if I can get that. So that's kind of, so it has the image on the front and then the image on the back in miniature along with kind of the information on that. Obviously it's on my phone, so my camera totally doesn't like it. Um, and I actually probably should print that out, which I'm going to do right now. Um, the printer is available, thank you. Uh, 
yeah i'm thinking like um i've got a price list for how much the postcards are going to cost me so i'll just take it from there but i'm not going to charge a massive amount for postcards to be honest because like i say i just like the idea of them being i like people to have something they could take away and for a change i thought i'd actually make some money <laughs> not a lot doesn't need to be a lot just enough for me to validate myself as an artist <laughs> um so postcards you get an a6 postcard um they're like if you get between 36 and 120 they're 44p each um at the price that i would pay to have them done and that's full color um so that's not so bad and then obviously you sell whatever the price is on top of that so yeah so i'm probably looking at like one pound one pound fifty um because 44p is still a fair amount of money to spend out oh somebody's just gone away my viewing numbers just went down um so yeah so there's going to be postcards there's going to be postcards of all of the main pieces of art i think um and possibly a couple of other bits um i'm going to go through and see what i've got and that that ties in not just like some random stuff but you know i've got like some pieces of art that i made with the paints that i've made and like coffee and stuff like that so i think that's probably gonna be one of the ways of doing it but this is why did you see why we've not done any art on stream because basically i have to do it whenever i've got a minute i if i sit and i've got a minute i've got a sketchbook and a pencil in my hand and i'm just making sketches and doing the art because i don't have time now i signed up new year for a um a crochet along right basically mystery crochet along and every week they sent you the new part and you added this new part i got to week four I think I've got the last row of week four. There was nine or ten weeks in that. That finished a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> like, I'm just like, it's not going to get finished, is it? <laughs> <laughs> like, the square a month I'm meant to be doing, I got three rows into March's square because then it's all just like, this just work that needs to be doing. Um, I kind of am glad that I decided to take a year out before I start look like obviously that year out will be spent trying to get my masters sorted but not doing my masters <laughs> so that's fine you know um I won't be going in September this year basically it'll be September next year <laughs> and that gives me a year to move um so yeah it's it's uh it's interesting so much to do um at the end of this month i need to pay sam <laughs> for some bags um beginning to think that 25 wasn't enough but i can't afford any more than that so that's fine uh i think that i wish i'd looked into getting paper bags as well so like 25 fabric bags for the first 25 visitors and then paper bags after that that still had like something in them like my business card lollipop etc but then to be fair that would also involve buying more lollipops and since i'm giving these out for free um <laughs> but it's good it's good it gets my name out there it gets like the interest out there that's i got i just need to keep on my biggest stress at the moment yeah but then i still have to decorate them you knobhead i meant like logo paper bags maybe ear bottles alone you um i was about to say then tuesday no, the stamps don't have my logo on though they just have my information on we didn't get a logo stamp we're not that rich i should get a logo stamp i might look into getting a logo stamp remind me to do that 
after this because I'm going in a bit. Um, logo stamp, logo stamp, logo stamp, logo stamp, logo stamp. What I was actually going to say, that's not helpful. The most stressful part of this now is the Tuesday of the actual exhibition. So I'm in the exhibition space from Monday the 15th to Friday the 19th, although I am now wondering if I should extend that to the Saturday the 20th so that people who are not available during the week can come and see it. Um, I might have a word with Nikki about that. I probably need to add that to list of questions I have for Nikki. Um, but the list is on my Remarkable and that is in need of charge and not next to me. Kaylee, send me that. Um, because I do think having the Saturday would be an idea. I also think it would be a nightmare, but there we go. But on the 16th, on Tuesday the 16th of May, you like put that out there, May, um, it's my presentation during the day. Uh, yeah, but I did just like, I don't need to spend all of my student loan on the exhibition, okay? Because I'm not going to make it back. It's already cost me a bloody fortune. Um, yeah, so the Tuesday is my presentation and a member of the exam board and my tutors are coming to the unit so I can do my presentation in the unit so they can actually see the work in situ because I couldn't figure out how to do it on a PowerPoint. It just wouldn't have worked for me. Um, the problem I've got is I am the only person in the unit it's just me, it's just my artwork, there's nobody else, and it's Tuesday. So the only people I know, like Kaylee and others, who would normally be free <laughs> to come and sit in the unit whilst I do the presentation, <laughs> are not free because it's Tuesday. <laughs> They're all like, uh you could close the unit for 45 minutes i'm like no i can't i can't i mean that's something we hadn't actually factored in <laughs> we were all like no it's tuesday you can't do it on the tuesday if it was a wednesday it'd be fine but it's tuesday i'm at work yeah no uh, uh, at no point in any of these discussions <laughs> beautiful <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah so like i think that's my biggest stress at the minute <laughs> i can't believe we didn't factor that in there's something about tuesday the 16th of may is there anything uh... yeah no it's just because it's a tuesday you know i've got good work i've probably you know i've got some other stuff going on i've got the kids nothing important though. no 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 definitely not my child's birthday <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yes, best parenting. Best. Hey, we bought them stuff today. We, bought, we both bought them stuff today. So, um, yeah, so that's the biggest stress. Um, that's about it, really. I think that brings us up to date. Uh, I am going to make patterns for dresses for a small frog plushie that my husband got me for right i don't know if you'll notice this but i'm a little bit obsessed with teacup the game right now um i've been making fan art and i now have the plush so i'm making it close wait so we bought them clothes and they were upset we didn't buy them food i, I Business card, lollipop, sticker. Yeah. <laughs> Things, wishes, dreams, sanity, fairy dust, uh, dog hair. A lot of that. There's going to be a lot of dog hair in there. Uh, do I need to buy your children chocolate? I don't know if you bought your children chocolate. I got them Easter eggs. They get chocolate at Easter. The rest of the time, they get clothes. 
None of them particularly like toys at the minute. I, really, you know. I thought about buying them stuff for Fortnite and they don't play it anymore. That's not my fault. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't need to be big. Um, I'm just going to do this right now so you can see it. Like, Because you know, like, we haven't really done anything. So this was the plaster. And before I put the plaster in, I put a layer of UV resin and a layer of glow-in-the-dark pink pigment. <clears throat> okay, so the other ones that I took out, this one, um, it did have a bubble in it, so I was just kind of trying to fill the moulds with stuff. And you can see kind of the hint of pink on there. That was the leftovers. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do this now, right in front of you all. I'm going to take it out and see if it's worked. I think the resin is going to separate from the plaster, but that's easily fixed with a bit of glue. I just... There's quite a lot of pigment still left in the mould. Oh my god, there's a lot of pigment left in the mould. <gasps> that has just gone everywhere. All right, you ready for this? <laughs> it's glow in the dark. Uh, just to kind of... <clears throat> Here's one I kind of prepared earlier. UV light. Okay, so you see it's, uh, it's pink right now. It's lovely pink. I'll put the UV light on it. Uh, give me a second. Orange! Can I do it again? I like a glow. Yeah, I have UV reactive jewelry as well. It just never gets to see UV light. Ready? Orange! What? Do you not casually pull UV light out all the time? And then it just goes slowly back to pink. Oh, that's so cool! That was really cool. Um, if I just show you the actual pigments as well, because I've got two. I've had them a little while. So this is the pink. So there's the... Uh, let's see if I can do this properly, because obviously it's on camera, so I've got a bit of glare. Yes, yeah, so there's the pink. Do that. Nice glowy orange there. Going to shake it a little bit. Pink again, right? And then, this is genius because some of that's still really orange. Um, I love having a UV light. Green, because hello, my name is Jazz. You'll love this one. Not so much of a colour change as a holy crap. Right, you ready? You ready? It is neon, illuminous, yellow, green. Like, you can't, I can't even show you the glow properly. So you kind of see it on there. Right, hang on. Let me give that a shake. Get that back to normal. So that kind of, that's kind of normal. Ready? <laughs> Everybody should just have a UV light lying around. Glow! <laughs> it like properly just glows. It's beautiful. <laughs> Let me do that with the pink as well. Hang on. Alright, so. I got pink. It's almost like I've been working with UV resin or something just recently, you know? Orange glow! <laughs> yeah. What, me with a UV light showing different pigments? It'd be cool. <laughs> well, like I say, like, the one thing that people don't realise is, like, I have UV reactive jewellery on. It's just that because I don't really go out anywhere, you don't really get to see it, you know? 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know, take a second to get that. There we go. We'll go back to pink again. <laughs> Yeah, glowy. We love the glow. We love the glow. One should see some of the stuff I've been buying recently. Like the stuff I brought today. I think the least neon thing is probably this top. Like, least neon thing. That's well, still pretty green. I like how like green it is against this orange. I'm going to clash so wonderfully. And I love it. I love it. Oh. So, right, and on that note, it is half nine. I need to not be sat in front of a computer, except I've still got to read somebody's work <sighs> uh, before I can go. So I'm going to read that person's work. Um, it has gone back down to pink again now, just to prove that it is in fact pink and not orange. It's not a thing. There we go. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go and read Kaylee's work. Um... There will be a stream tomorrow, it will be a silent stream, it will be more air-dry clay processing, especially since that one is missing, uh, and more adding stuff onto there. Rich, we miss you, please come back to us soon, even if it's only for an hour, just to let us, give us an update, do an update thing. Um, because all I get in my stream is how much everybody misses you, so... <laughs> Um, yeah, I will see everybody, well, I probably won't see you tomorrow, but I will be here tomorrow working on this. And then after Kaylee's dissertation is in, um, I will do another stream like this. I like this. It's nice. It's just like, this is what I've been doing. So, um, thank you all for your continuing support, your prime subscriptions, your bits and all that kind of stuff. We don't have long now to wait until I can actually upload all of the badges and stuff. However, exhibition takes priority, so it is going to happen after that. Um, so I'm afraid you will have to wait three months instead of two, just so I can get this done and then everything will go up. So it'll be cool. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I hope you all have a fantastic time. If you can't make it in tomorrow, I will speak to you again soon. Um, Stay safe, swim safe, and be the best tadpoles. And I will see you all next time. Oh, and also I love you. <laughs>